Um, I guess we'll start with about me. Um, <laughs> and then I'll go on to talk about other things. Anyway, first of all, I'm Michaela. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, I am doing the Disney College program, which is what I want to make this vlog about. I've never vlogged before. Vlogged? It's vlogging. Never vlogged before, so stick with me. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm Michaela. I go to school in Massachusetts. I'm from Vermont. Um, I'm a hospitality major. I'm also a freshman. I'm 19. Um, and that's all the pertinent information, I suppose. I'm a huge musical theater geek. I love to read. I love fairy tales. I love magic. Magic Kingdom is where I'm at. Let's put it that way. It's awesome. And I've been accepted for the Fall 2014 Advantage, well, I guess I said that wrong, Fall Advantage 2014 Disney College Program. Um, if you don't know what the Disney College Program is, it's a really awesome opportunity. Um, basically, it's a paid internship down in Florida. For In my case, it's Florida. I'm going to Walt Disney World. Um, but you can also do it in California at Disneyland. Um, however, this will primarily be about Florida because that's where I'll be moving for roughly seven months, um, which I'm so excited about. Um, so I guess I'm going to talk a little bit about how to get into the Disney College program, some other tips um, that you can use, um, and my own application with applying. So for me, my journey really began when I think it's been in seventh grade. I've been saying since I was five, since my first trip to Walt Disney World, that I wanted to work at, well, at Walt, Walt Disney World, basically. Um, and in seventh grade, my dad found out about the Disney College program. He told me about it. And I began doing all the research. I started looking at blogs from different people and getting really interested in what this was. That, oh my gosh, once I finally get to college, I can like go work for Disney. Like, how awesome is that? Um, so basically, throughout high school, I was really looking forward to this. It was one of those things for me where I was like, you know, I really was not that into school or anything, but it's all worth it because it's an into Disney. That's all I really care about. Um, I remember my sophomore year, you know, like I did like a little PowerPoint presentation all about the program and everything for um, a careers class I was in and everything. And I was just like, you know, it's only a couple more years and then I'll be eligible. Um, and during my senior year of high school, so last year, um, I started really getting into the blogs and stuff again about the program and following them and getting excited because, oh my gosh, like I'm actually going to be eligible once I start college. So I started college in the fall of 2013. Um, finished my first semester, went home, came back for my second semester. Um, during the fall, I had considered applying for the fall 2014 um, Disney College Program apps. So basically, people set up Facebook groups like months and months in advance about people who are hoping to apply. Um, I joined several of those Facebook groups, which, I mean, it's like any Facebook group, there's a lot of drama, it's kind of annoying, but it's really good because it's one of the first ways you can find out that applications dropped, um, and for me, I kind of had talked to my parents about it, I talked to other people about it, and said, this probably isn't something that I'm going to be able to do, because I should probably wait, and I, I had told myself I was going to wait until I was a sophomore to apply, and what happened was that the applications for the program dropped on February 6th, which is my birthday. And because they came out on February 6th, I kind of, I was a little on the edge about waiting until my sophomore year because it's Disney, I love it. And like, it had to be a sign, like, right? Like, they had dropped on my birthday, what is that about? And also my aunt had commented something about dreams really do come true, which is a quote from, um, well, one of the quotes from the, well, the castle show, Dream Along with Mickey, which is like my favorite thing in the world. I love it. Um, and I kind of was like, oh, it seems like a sign. So, you know, I kind of whined and moaned about it all night. And I went in and I saw my academic advisor the next day. And I said, hey, look, applications dropped for this thing yesterday. This is something I really want to do. Here's the website. She didn't really know anything about it. So I kind of like, you know, I showed her the website and was like, here's, here's the entire thing. 
Um, and she said, okay, well, I think that you should definitely go ahead and apply. And if it's not going to be something we're going to be able to fit in for you, you should do it anyway. Take a leave of absence and do it because it's going to be a great experience for you. Um, so I went and to my next class and I talked to my dad after my advisor meeting and I said, hey, look, I just talked to my advisor about this thing that I really want to do. I think I'm going to apply for. Um, so I waited until all my classes were done. I had some other stuff going on that day. And um, it took me about an hour to finish the initial application. Um, the initial application is just like any other job application. What you do is it has your name, your social security number, your birth date, your gender, all that stuff. Um, and it's really, really not personal. One of the things that I was really worried about was if they were going to ask for references because I don't like giving people's phone numbers away, especially because half the time with references, I don't know who to put my employers towards, you know what I mean? So I kind of asked on one of the Facebook groups, hey, is there any section where they ask for references? And they said, no, they ask for past job and volunteer experience, but they don't ask for references, which immediately calmed me down because that was the one thing that I was really worried about with the initial application. Um, so after you finish that, you will get maybe a couple hours later, it depends on how everything works, you will get a thank you for applying email. Um, and then depending on kind of, I think it, it doesn't really, I'm not sure how everything gets worked out because it's Disney and the hiring system is interesting, but um, a couple hours later you could get an invitation to do the web-based interview, which I will tell you about more in a minute. Or you could get put into submission. If you're put into submission, you have until, I believe, the last day of acceptance is to get the, or the last day of the application system or the hiring season um, to get a web-based interview. Um, for me, I got it a couple hours later. However, at the time, I didn't have a laptop and I didn't want to take it on my phone. Or at the time, it was an iPod. But... Um, so I got the email, and of course I was all excited, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like, oh, I can't believe I made it past this initial round of applications, I can't believe that just happened. Um, but I had to, I didn't want to tell any of my family or friends about it, because I was like, well, what if I don't get past this web-based interview? I kept seeing on all the Facebook groups, oh, I already got no longer in consideration, like, uh-oh, like, I don't want to be, like, all hyped up and be like, oh my gosh, I got the web-based interview, and then be like, sorry guys, I didn't get it, like, never mind, and be, like, super broken up about it. So, I didn't tell a single soul that I got this interview. I watched the Olympics with my best friend that night, and I didn't say anything, and she was so mad at me the next day. But I'm glad that I did it because I didn't feel when I went through the interview that there was any pressure whatsoever on me to pass it or not. And I went through the web-based interview with the opinion that I was going to fail. If I, I was going to get no longer in consideration because one of my friends had actually gotten no longer in consideration early. No longer in consideration is also NLIC, NLIC'd. Um, is how you will see it put in the Facebook groups. Um, so basically the web-based interview, you take it, I think you have like three days or something like that to take it, and it's a series of questions, and some of them are multiple choice, some of them are um, it, how you rate it, like strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree, strongly agree. Um, and the thing, there's no real key, I don't think, to acing this interview basically, what I was told to do by looking at a lot of online blogs and everything was don't answer a lot of neutrals. Disney really likes strong-minded people. And also to um, really think about it with the, with the mind of a Disney employee. So if I was a Disney employee already, how would I answer these questions? How would I be thinking about them? So going into it, that's what I was thinking. Don't, however, put all all strongly agree, all disagree, or anything like that. Don't do it because it will immediately tip off the system that you are probably not being completely truthful. Make sure you have some vari variations and everything in there. Another big thing with a web-based interview is huge consistency. They're going to ask you the same question multiple times, but it's all going to have different phrasing. I am rarely late. I am never on time. 
um, I am always on time, stuff like that. And you have to make sure that your answer is at least basically the same every time. So if you said, I am never late, I, and you said, yes, I'm never late. If it says I am always on time, it's you're going to want to say yes again, basically. Um, the other thing that's tricky about the web-based interview is that some of the questions are timed. So you get like 40 seconds or 20 seconds or something like that. They say it's supposed to take about 40 minutes. Um, mine personally took 20. Um, and then after that, they will flash you up a screen right after you finish a web-based interview. And it will say either no longer in consideration, which I've not seen that screen because I very luckily made it past. So what I got was a screen that said um, next step phone interview, which this is totally backwards. But um, so it says next step phone interview and um, you will have the ability to schedule your interview appointment in approx approximately 24 hours. Um, so within that 24 hours, you schedule your interview. Um, of course, I went running and screaming and telling everyone that I could that I had gotten past the web-based interview. Like, oh my gosh, I had a phone interview with the company of my dreams. I was so psyched. Um, so I scheduled my interview. I scheduled it for Valentine's Day at 10.45 a.m. I was going to be home at this time and I would be using my house phone. Um, so the next thing for me was to start looking at sample interview questions. Um, online, there's a ton of blogs. They have a ton of great questions that you can use to prepare. Care. For me, I used one of these, and I also, you know, they, they say, like, they give you this, they, they always give you the advice to, you know, smile, make sure you smile, and make sure, you know, emphasize how much you love the company, and all that stuff. Um, so, I, you know, I was kind of, like, feeling a little prepared. I had one of my friends give me a mock quiz and everything on it, and I was like, okay, like, I kind of feel all right. Um, I actually ended up having to reschedule my phone interview the day before due to not being able to make it home on time. Um, but we thought at the time I actually could have kept it, but I'm glad that I rescheduled it because it gave me that extra time that I needed to really know the, get to know the questions as well as I could. And um, also just to really feel like, oof, okay, it's just an interview, you know, like if I don't get it, I don't get it. It's gonna be fine. You're just gonna, you know, you have to like let your passion show. This is your passion. This is what you want to do with your life. Then just make sure it comes through. Make sure you sound as enthusiastic as possible about everything. So I rescheduled my phone interview, and I believe it was when was it? It was the twenty seventh at the end of February. Let me check my handy dandy calendar here because I have a clear of a memory at this point. That's March. Do you like this? This is Thomas Kincaid. It's very cute. Uh, I had my Disney phone interview on, no, not the 14th, yeah, it was the 27th. I had my phone interview on the 27th of February, um, and I had it at 2 o'clock. So, what I did to prepare for this was I printed out all of the questions. I found that actually going through mock interviews, for me, wasn't really helping all that much, because... The people I had interviewing me didn't really understand the program. They didn't know how to phrase the questions. And some of my answers didn't necessarily make sense. Like character integrity, if you're not into Disney, you're not going to understand what it means when you're talking about character integrity. Um, you know, stuff like that. So what I did, I have a huge sheet to show you. It's, these are all the sample interview questions that I could find. And I typed out answers to every single one of them. So I knew what I was going to say, or at least I had a vague idea of it. In my head, I had already answered these questions. Um, and I taped this to the table in the common room when I did my interview. Um, before the interview, I commandeered the, the common room, um, put up this cute little sign. Says Disney College program phone interview in process. Please do not disturb. Thanks with a little Mickey head, Michaela. And I watched the movie Brother Bear for a little bit. And I listened to some of my favorite Disney music. I listened to um, I'm Almost There uh, from Princess and the Frog. And I just can't wait to be king. And you know, all this fun. Like, just, you know, to, to like remind you to like just, just cool down. It's going to be fine. 
Um, so I did the phone interview. They asked, you know, they ask about it, if you feel like you want to work in a team or by yourself. They ask you just a ton of questions. Literally look at all the sites. They will have them all listed for you. It's a great resource that people have put together. So make use of it. And just to be cheesy, I'm going to add in, you should definitely smile and remember your interviewer's name and thank them at the end of the interview. Um, these people take time out of their days to, to you know, talk to you about what you want to do, why you want to be in the program. Just That's a really awesome thing for them to be doing. So remember to thank them because they're awesome. Um, even if you might get one who maybe it isn't their day and you think, oh, this person really doesn't like me still thank them because it's the right thing to do um so after the phone interview i kind of you know got up and jumped around and was like oh my gosh we just interviewed with disney what is life you know because that's what happens it's like what even um the next day i knew i wasn't gonna hear back that night the next day i kind of was like okay i wonder if i'll hear back acceptances had started about two days before so i was like okay i wonder if i'm gonna hear back i want to know if i'm gonna hear back Am I gonna? Am I gonna? Am I gonna? Like, I kept checking my dashboard all the time because I figured they'll show up there first, right? So it was a Friday. So on Saturday, I went to bed Friday night, and I was kind of like, okay, you know, I guess, I guess I'm not hearing tonight. That's what it is. Um, on the off chance that I was going to hear from them the next day, I woke up around, I believe it was like 10 o'clock on that Saturday. And I was like, oh, you know, I probably won't have heard them from them, but I'll check my email anyway, which I did. <laughs> Both of my roommates were asleep, and I got the email that said, congratulations, on the top of it, from Walt Disney Recruiting. And I kind of, like, couldn't believe it. Like, oh, my God, I got into this program. I'm in the new Walt Disney World. Oh, my God. Like, what? even so i kind of like you know i hightailed it over my room as quick as i could so i could like start freaking out molly i like was shaking i was like crying you know the whole shebang um and i called my parents and i called on my family and i said you know guess what i'm i'm moving to florida like this is happening like my dream is coming true right now i'm sorry i'm kind of getting teary because i get teary when i talk about it because it's absolutely it's knowing that you're going to work for this company is the best thing in the world especially if it's been your dream for so long it is the most incredible thing in the world um so after that you have a week to accept your offer well first you have to view your offer letter so your offer letter i printed mine out is this handy dandy little letter and basically it lists your role what resort you're going to be working at if you applied for both um, which season you're going to be working at, um, what your pay is going to be, and what some of your responsibilities could include. So for me, I am working as main entrance operations. Um, I'm going to be at Walt Disney World Resort, and it's going to be during the Fall Advantage 2014 season. And I'm not going to be giving my wages because you guys get to find that out if you get into the program, I guess. Um, also because, you know, that sounds really bad to give away your wages um anyway so you view your offer letter you accept your offer after you accept your offer you have to send in your program fee i believe for the california program it's like i want to say it's like oh i'm going to say it's not 860 560 maybe i don't know it's a lot more it's more money to do the california program than it is for the florida program the florida program is about $300 plus you have your um, processing fee which is about $4.50 or it was this um, this season anyway so you send in your fee and then you get to choose your move-in date for me my move-in date is May 19th so um, May 19th I'm going to be moving in um, and that's pretty much one of the last things that you need to do for them right at that moment um, a day, late, day or so later, you'll get your invitation to the onboarding site where there's a whole lot more information about what you're going to be doing once you get down there, um, all about the Disney look, all about all of that stuff. Um, for people like me, or a lot of people do this actually, who don't really want a roommate, if you don't know, Disney provides you with housing while you're down, while you're on the program. Um, and there's four complexes it's Vista, Chatham, the Commons, and Patterson. Um, 
and you do you fill out a roommate survey basically they're apartments they're fully furnished apartments um and i'm not really told i mean until i go through it i'll explain it a little bit more to you then but they're fully furnished apartments it's awesome um so you fill out a roommate survey you post it wherever you can facebook groups tumblr twitter you know whatever you want to do um contact some people contact some girls some guys whatever um find some roommates so i found seven awesome girls that i'm going to be living with and it's going to be fantastic and you know we've been talking a lot about who's going to exactly room with who who's bringing what stuff like that um and then it's basically just a wait so for me right now i have about 39 days until not until check-in but until i fly down to orlando and then i will be down there from the 19th to january 7th so i'm going to be down there through a lot of the major holidays i'm going to be working there through the summer all that stuff um i'm so excited and i am hoping to post my videos to youtube so hopefully you guys will be able to follow along with my adventures in disney which is like my favorite thing in the world and also because um it'll be nice for you know like my parents and my friends to be able to see stuff like that and uh, know what i'm up to and everything down there so i will definitely be posting i hope this video has been a little informative for you and a little bit about me and if you'd want to follow along with me um on this adventure and it's now 20 minutes one minute long so i'm gonna sign off all right toodles have a magical day